A lot of artists who come from my position, they do a lot of shit independent. So when they sign to a major label, they try to keep doing what they've been doing. But I took that step up for a reason. So you might as well use it. Stick into stick into the old formula at the same time, man. And, and you know what I'm saying? Reaching out, making connections, and making the shit bigger than ever, man. Yeah. You know? Ah, ah, the big dog, the butchie. You know, you know, right? You know, right? <laughs> Straight like that. I don't understand when niggas be like, be fair. Nigga, life ain't fair, nigga. Be fair to what? Who? Yeah, yeah. King of New York, the Buffalo nigga. Okay, I said it. Okay, I said it. I hear you rappers claiming a crown. If you want it, you gotta come get it. Yeah, new MG care rapping. Hold up. Oh, I want that new 911. I walking that bitch spending cash, so it ain't no need in running my credit. We the Sopranos, bitch. Them niggas who like to buy guns and nice on affinity. Straight. Uh, man, I'm about to sit here and chop it up with these guys, bro. Just everybody can't go. My God, everybody can't go. Everybody can't go. And everyone can't sit with us. Everybody can't sit. <laughs> Everybody can't rap like you this know? man, you know what I'm saying? Everybody can't rap like this man. The butcher, nigga. You know, you know what the fuck I had to do to get people to believe in me? It's hard to get people just to believe in you. You know what I'm saying? You, you just in the hood and you rapping and shit, but you telling somebody that you gonna be a star one day, man. You know, niggas look at you like you crazy. Work, I'm cutting more times than Kyrie betrayed. I was one foot in the door after that freestyle was flexed. I was one foot in the game at Jay-Z House West. Now you see how I clean houses. Growing up in the 80s, it was, it, was, it was cool because I didn't know any better, you know what I'm saying? But I grew up in, on Montana Avenue and Lanefield Project, so a project kid, everything a project kid went through, it was bullet holes in my building, you know what I mean? Like I said, you know, my mom was struggling addict, she took me to NA meetings, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, a project kid smiled through all of that. My mom, she, she, she had eight kids, it was eight of us. You know what I mean? So she was on public assistance. Uh, my biological father, I don't know, I don't know that nigga. He could be motherfucker, he could be the mailman. I wasn't knowing. Johnny Pinnock, the, the man who the last name I bear, he came in, he stepped in. Oh, it's just something like this. I, I love fatherhood, you know what I mean? Him, his brother, always, always picked him up. It was a regular thing every Sunday. No matter what I did, how I was doing it. I stopped doing it when it came to Sunday. When it came to their schooling, their education, teaching them something, showing them something, it was all about me stopping and doing it. So I used to pick him up in, the, in my caddy, which I was proud of, every single day, shining, licked. I could have had three Skittles, two quarters, and my kids, I was happy. You know what I mean? Each step was earned, you know what I'm saying? Going through, going through phases of my life, and going in and out of prison, you know what I'm saying, and having a kid and going through shit in the streets and, you know what I'm saying, dropping out of school. To make it right here, man, I put, I put this shit before everything in life. Like I've been a local celebrity now and people been seeing me in a higher light. But after coming home maybe in 2013, from spending like <laughs> my last 10 years in and out of prison or whatever, it was like, I was almost was out of favor. You know what I mean? It, 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 like, people was like tired of me. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, they had high hopes of me signing a deal. Niggas like, this nigga not gonna sign a deal. You know, people, it was a rumor, not a rumor, but it was a, like stigma, like he fucked his career up. Hey yo, you motherfuckers heard about that Def Jam deal? Yeah! Let me talk to y'all. We, 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 we gonna talk about this for a second. I don't want none of you motherfuckers thinking, oh, he signed it down, he about to do it. Nah, nigga, we taking this street shit to the label. They ain't taking, they ain't doing no rearranging my shit. I'm big as hell with it. You heard? Why you sign a Def Jam? Def Jam is at a point where they're rebuilding. Yeah, I want to be a part of that. That's why. You ever think about that? You ever think about letting that nigga might want to be a part of that? You ever think about some shit like that? You ever think about, uh, maybe I went to Def Jam because they the most transparent label who was trying to sign me, man. Shout out to everybody, man. 
Let's get ready. My last record was record setting. Dev Jim let me in the building. Turned the boardroom to Satriellis. Okay, y'all can rap, but ain't no way y'all can laugh. A true hustler who thought his way off the app and advance got paid out in cash. I owe the masters to a few of my classics. Bank cost not plastic. The plug shit is mine. That's why you can only pray y'all can catch us. They hate on the great soldiers. Make you some cake and pay all your taxes. And I can never flake, cause being a real nigga pays all the math. Oh, that's a fact. I'm coming to fuck with you. Yeah, that's well shit right there, boy. I'm talking about that other shit, the next level shit, the people. Where you at? You in the studio? Yeah. Oh, it ain't 93. You don't got to go hard, this hard no more. You did it already. Yeah, yeah, I do. yeah, I do. When you hit this new project, you gonna, you, gonna say, you gonna say, yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you did. I'm coming to listen to that shit, play some shit for you. Come on, cuz. I can't wait for you to pull up on me. Let me know when you pulling up in turn. I got you, love. Um. BJ, I'm yeah. Come on, y'all, motherfuckers, man. Ah. 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 Plugs I met one, so in the top four. Yeah. 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 That's all. Yeah. That's what I got. Oh, and also the Black Supreme family, you know what I mean? The family has to be present in your life. you pushing your product and everything you got to show people that it's special because like i said the 30,000 songs drop a day you got to show people your shit special